China is on the verge of launching a renewable energy project so vast that it could redefine the future of global power generation. Deep in the heart of the Kabuki Desert, a solar facility is rising that's unlike anything the world has ever seen. Spanning an area equivalent to 20 central parks, this is not just a power plant. It's the centerpiece of a colossal network of renewable energy bases that will collectively produce 455 gigawatts of power, more than the entire energy capacity of nations like the United Kingdom and Australia combined. The Kabuki Renewables Base, a solar facility with a generation capacity of 16 gigawatts, enough electricity to power over a million homes, is one of the largest solar projects ever conceived. But the Kabuki base is just one part of a larger vision. China is developing around 225 renewable energy bases across its western and northern deserts, with the combined capacity to generate 455 gigawatts of clean energy. This project is set to be completed within the next few years, with many of the bases expected to come online by 2025. This energy production is staggering. To put it into perspective, 455 gigawatts is more than the current renewable energy generation of entire continents and could almost cover India's current energy needs on its own. With 60% of this energy coming from solar power and 40% from wind, China is positioning itself as the world leader in renewable energy, a role that was unimaginable just a few decades ago. Building massive solar and wind farms in the harsh environment of a desert is no small feat. The Kabuki Desert, like many of China's deserts, offers abundant sunlight and steady winds, ideal conditions for renewable energy. However, the very features that make these deserts suitable for energy production also present significant challenges. One of the biggest obstacles is the transport of electricity from these remote, sparsely populated deserts to China's bustling cities, where the energy is needed most. To address this, China is developing ultra-high voltage UHV, power lines. These power lines are capable of transmitting electricity over distances of up to 3,000 kilometers with minimal loss ensuring that the energy produced in the desert reaches the country's industrial and residential hubs efficiently. Another challenge is the maintenance of the solar panels in the dusty desert environment. Dust accumulation can significantly reduce the efficiency of solar panels, blocking sunlight and reducing their output. To combat this, China is employing advanced robotic cleaning systems designed to operate in harsh desert conditions. These robots use a combination of brushes and airflow to regularly clean the panels, ensuring they remain efficient without the need for large amounts of water, a scarce resource in desert regions. The use of these cleaning robots is not just about maintaining efficiency. It's also about ensuring the long-term sustainability of the project in an environment where traditional cleaning methods would be impractical. As China ramps up its renewable energy production, one of the key questions is how to store the vast amounts of energy generated, especially when production exceeds demand. Energy storage is crucial for balancing supply and demand, particularly with renewable sources like solar and wind, which are intermittent by nature. China is making significant investments in large-scale battery storage systems to capture and store surplus energy produced during peak generation periods. I actually covered this in depth in a video about CATL's Tenor Energy Storage System. So be sure to check that out if you're curious about how China is pushing the boundaries in this field. These storage solutions are crucial for maintaining a stable energy supply, enabling the excess power generated on sunny or windy days to be saved and utilized when production dips. Moreover, China is also exploring pumped hydro storage and cutting-edge battery technologies as part of its broader strategy to develop a more resilient and adaptable energy grid. While the benefits of China's renewable energy expansion are clear, the environmental impact, particularly on the delicate desert ecosystems, is a significant concern. Deserts are home to unique flora and fauna, and the construction of large-scale energy projects can disrupt these ecosystems.
For instance, the presence of solar panels and wind turbines can alter the local climate by changing the albedo, or reflectivity, of the surface, potentially affecting the microclimates that many desert species rely on. China is aware of these potential impacts and is working to mitigate them. Environmental assessments are being conducted to minimize the disruption to local wildlife, and efforts are being made to design the projects in a way that reduces their footprint on the landscape. For example, solar panels are being installed at an angle that allows for the coexistence of native plants beneath them, and wind turbines are being spaced to allow for the free movement of wildlife. Furthermore, the creation of these renewable energy bases presents an opportunity to restore some degraded areas of the desert. By stabilizing the soil with vegetation and preventing further desertification, China aims to create a balance between energy production and environmental preservation. The addition of 455 gigawatts of renewable energy to the grid will significantly reduce China's reliance on coal and other fossil fuels which currently make up the majority of its energy mix. This shift could lead to a structural decline in global carbon emissions, given that China is the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases. The project also positions China as a leader in renewable energy technology and infrastructure, with the potential to export this expertise to other countries. China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI, which has already seen significant investment in infrastructure across Asia, Africa and beyond, could now include the export of renewable energy technology. This could help other nations, particularly those in the developing world, to leapfrog fossil fuel dependency and move directly to clean energy solutions. While challenges remain, such as ensuring the stability of the energy grid, protecting local ecosystems, and managing the geopolitical implications of China's energy dominance, the potential benefits are enormous. If successful, this project could accelerate the global transition to renewable energy, offering a blueprint for other nations to follow. As China continues to build and expand its renewable energy infrastructure, the world will be watching closely the success of these projects could very well determine the future of energy for the next century, making China's deserts not just a source of power for its own people, but a beacon of hope for a cleaner 